Why didn't U.S. Airlines buy the Concorde? Let me explain. During the 1960s, the Concorde was a symbol of aviation progress, flying at twice the speed of sound and promising to revolutionize travel. But while British Airways and Air France operated it, no U.S. airline ever placed an order. Why? Well, the Concorde was incredibly expensive. Each aircraft cost over $40 million at the time, and its fuel consumption was massive, burning more per passenger than a Boeing 747. But it wasn't just cost. The sonic boom generated by the Concorde made it illegal to fly supersonic over land in the U.S., severely limiting its route options. Airlines also realized the jet only appealed to a niche luxury market, while subsonic jets could carry hundreds of passengers at lower fares. Political pressure also played a role. U.S. lawmakers were concerned about the environmental and noise impact, leading to protests and blocked airport access. So while the Concorde was a marvel of engineering, it simply didn't make business sense for American airlines. Why didn't